In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your corners to react in outside thirds against things like corner routes for easy interceptions against Gun Bunch. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Okay guys, so in this video, as I said, we are talking about the uh, basically a coverage adjustment that you can use in this year's game that is going to help your deep coverage, num number one, not only get bombed, but it's also going to significantly help the reaction of your deep third zones in terms of what they do to corner routes and C routes and out routes and things like that. So let's dive into this video and real quick, uh, before we go too far, I do wanna let you know that if you wanna get a deeper dive into this defense and really dissect not only the, the coverage concepts out of this in a little bit of a deeper way, but also all of the blitzes that we run that complement the coverage, I would encourage you to get my nickel 335 odd defensive guide. It's based out of the New York Giants playbook. And if you've ever looked at the Giants playbook, it also has the 245 double A gap, the 335 wide, the 245, as well as the big nickel over G. So it's one of the best defenses, um, defensive playbooks, in my opinion. And it has, in my opinion, the best combination of nickel sets for what you're going to want to do in this year's game. So that being said, if you want to get my full defensive guide, it is down in the description. It's on sale right now for just $15. If you go down in the description, there is a link with a website, a website link that will take you to pick up the guide. So if you want to get access to it, that's the easiest way to do it. Just head down to the description, click on that link, head over to the website. You can pick that guide up today for just 15 bucks and get your defense to play a lot better. And also we're going to be updating this guide over the course of the next coming weeks as far as patches, as things change. You're always going to have the most up-to-date material in terms of this defensive uh, guide. That being said, let's dive into this video. So um, we're going to be going over this Z spot and go or Z spot concept from Bunch, how we can defend this um, out of the nickel 335 odd. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bump my curl flags down to um, probably about 10 or 15. Uh, and I like that because it's going to help me defend things like bench pivot and flood. Right now, this is kind of what I'm doing against Gun Bunch, okay? This is kind of where I'm starting. And then as people adjust, as people change, as people, um, you know, attack me in different ways, then I basically have to adjust to their adjustments. So that being said, let's show this LB Cross 3 show 2. And I'm not going to really do anything to the coverage. All I'm going to do is show blitz. And what I want you to watch happen is I just want you to watch how this corner route is going to get open. So I'm just going to streak the circle receiver. And what you should see is this corner route to the right is going to, and right there I didn't get a great example because of the pressure. I should have spied the guys off. Let me um, let me punt the ball back and we'll show it to you that way. So, but what you'll see happen in this year's game, and I'm sure that this is going to be, up. at least I, I would hope that this concept is going to be updated in terms of the coming, in, in the coming weeks. But for right now, especially with the tournament today and everything that's going on in competitive Madden right now, I think that we need to have a little bit of a workaround. We've kind of figured out some stuff. We've been labbing a lot of different things, uh, just trying to find something that will work. And I think we found something. So uh, I'm going to come back out in that Z spot, and I want to show you kind of the problem, and then we'll show you the solution. And um, I'm just going to spy uh, my defensive line here just to kind of give me a little extra second to make the read so you see i'm just gonna spy everybody but i just want you to look at this left side and what you're gonna see happen is this left side if i streak the square receiver r1 should get wide open to the corner and you'll see right here he gets wide open in the corner and that cornerback that's really the problem and let me jump into this replay and kind of break this down but basically what happens is that corner really doesn't guard anything he doesn't guard the streak on that side and he doesn't guard the corner route so he really doesn't take anything away if you watch this you're going to notice that the inside third right here 31 is taking this this seam read that means this guy in theory should come down to play this route but he has nothing to do with it in fact he's basically helpless and as you see i'm able to complete the corner route as long as there's a, a zone that's not dropping to a 25 yard depth 
which in this example, it's definitely not dropping at that far of a depth. Okay. So how do we fix this or how do we at least make this or give ourselves a little bit of a better shot at defending this? Well, I've been labbing all of the coverage adjustments and what you're going to do is you're going to set your play up. So you just do kind of your, your base setup here and I'm just going to spy the, the linebackers. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to hit Y or triangle depending on which console you're playing on. And you're going to shade your coverage to the outside. So you see, I'm going to shade my coverage to the outside and then I'm going to pass commit. And what that's going to do is it's going to basically try to trigger that outside third to bite on outside breaking routes. Okay. So I'm going to run the same exact route combination, no adjustments for the coverage other than that adjustment. And I want you to see uh, what's going to happen here. So snap the ball. He runs that streak. Our one runs a vertical. And if you take a look there, he kind of breaks on the ball a little bit better than he did in the past. What we're trying to get to is this idea of a click on type of play where we can click onto the player and be able to make a play on these on this zone. So as you see here, if you take a look at this little animation right there, see how he turns his hips that way. Now, obviously what we want him to do is we want him to turn all the way around. And if you'll, what you'll see is you won't see this happen every time. I will guarantee you that this is not going to be 100% consistent unless you're using the play cover three match, which I'm gonna go over, over in just a second. But what you will find is that it will actually um, be fairly effective for the most part um, in terms of you'll probably get about 85% of the time it'll play like you want it to. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the cover three match, show blitz, shade my coverage outside. And what you're gonna see is that shading of the coverage is going to help my zone coverage a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw that corner, pass lead right, and there you see him kind of break on, see how he kind of broke on the ball a little bit better, okay? Now, if I were to say streak the tight end as opposed to uh, the other player, and let's add an additional yellow zone on that side, just to kind of give you some concepts here. But basically we're gonna kind of create a basically cover three, shade that coverage to the right. And what you might need to do as well is if you, um, if you press and shade to the right, it might help it just a little bit. But anyways, what I like about that adjustment is it's also gonna help you a ton. If I were to just send a streak, that shading outside, is gonna kind of keep that corner over the top. But anyways, let's take a look at this left side here. Corner route right there. See how he breaks on the ball? So what you can do with that from a defense perspective, obviously I can't do it in this video because I'm on the offensive side. But if you're playing defense and someone throws a corner or someone throws a crosser, what you can do is click onto that player and come down. And what I actually like to do this year um, more so than I ever have before, is I actually like to play receiver. So uh, in my coaching adjustments, what you'll see here real quick is I'll put this on play receiver. And then whenever I jump back to the ball, instead of trying to intercept it, which I don't think works too well this year, I just basically um, play, you know, basically I just jump onto the receiver. So I'm just hitting, holding that X button down on PlayStation or the A on Xbox. And what you'll see is it will help me kind of play uh, the receiver. Now, when you add an outside quarter over there, it does help, or an inside quarter, because again, it just kind of gives that zone a little bit more uh, of a heads up that you've got some help. You know, basically you've got some help and you're gonna take that streak a little bit more directly. Now, if I streak the tight end, this is another concept that is really popular. What you're gonna see is, this is gonna defend it a little bit differently. So you'll see that corner, now we get that really nice clean uh, animation right there and that's actually something we can click on to. Now, it is certainly a tricky click on, but I wanna just kinda of come into this replay here just for a few minutes and just kind of I, kind of uh, I idealize or talk through this corner route. So you'll see here, if you watch this interaction, see how he turns his hips right here. What you're, all you wanna do this year, you don't wanna to try to pick this off. If you try to pick this off, it'll be a touchdown every single time. What you wanna do is you wanna click onto him and you either want to play the receiver and just basically strip the ball out as soon as he catches it, or go ahead and try to swat the ball 
But that is kind of the mechanic that you're going to have to learn if you're going to be very effective against corner routes at all this year. Uh, I think you're going to have to absolutely learn that mechanic because it's super critical to stopping the bunches of this world or the flood concepts. You've got to have something that can stop the corner route because you can stop a flat and a, t a flat route and a out route this year. You know, you can definitely stop that this year. But I think there's a little bit more to stopping a corner route um, in this year's game, especially from a you know gun bunch type of set. Uh, I think the bunch is very well equipped with different corner routes that can really uh, just mess up the coverage in a lot of different ways. So this concept right here, if you pair this with some of the pressure concepts of the defensive guide, you pair it with some of the um, Mabel coverages and different coverage adjustments that we have in there against pretty much any meta formation, that shading of the the shading outside of the coverage is really the secret sauce to helping your defense not play a inside press release type of coverage. They're going to play like an outside release. It's also going to help your zones stay more outside than inside. So it's not just something that's going to only apply to your deep zones, but it's also going to apply to your curl flat zones. So for so whenever your opponent is running a ton of flood or you know flat routes to the tight end what you'll see is with this concept um, what I can do if I is I can simply go ahead and I can go you know shade down to create the hard flats my last adjustment is to shade up or shade outside and what you'll see here is if I try to throw this this flat route to the X receiver you'll see he's in a really good position and he can make a play on the ball versus trying to, if you don't, this is one of the things that I've seen happen over and over again on streams. If I were to do the same adjustments, okay, but I didn't shade outside, okay, watch this flat route interaction. You're gonna see that um, at the snap of the ball right off the rip, he's gonna get sucked inside and I can easily at least just kind of get a completion out there. So these little things I think are super, super essential. Uh, but anyways, this is kind of what I've been doing uh, to kind of just essentially uh, lessen the damage of a solid corner route this year. I think the corner route is really, you know, in this, especially in this year's game, is a very, very difficult route to consistently take away. But what I have also found is leveraging this as a spacing thing as well. So the more outside you can get this guy, maybe even to the point of base aligning, will certainly help this, this coverage. Uh, it will also allow you to basically pick off the play verticals as well if, they're, if they like to run that play. But you'll see here, again, we get a really good alignment, pass lead right. You see, see that right there? So if I click on, that's where I'm saying, come down and play the receiver. Kind of let the, and honestly what I like to do is almost let the computer suction me to the guy and I just hold the button. Um, but it's really a fine art of usering on that, on that play. Um, let me try to show you, let me try to show you what I'm talking about uh, a little bit more on this play. And I'm going to try to actually click on. So I'm just going to click on to the player and, and obviously uh, I'm going to shade outside of course. But anyway, snap of the ball. See how I'm just like, ah, and I can't, it's hard, I can't show it too. But basically the point is I'm just dragging him in the direction that he's already going. Okay, so let me try one more time just to kind of give you, um, you know, just kind of an, a deeper understanding of this. So I'm just going to wait for him to kind of clear. See that? See what I did? I just basically cut the receiver off. It's not pass interference in this year's game. You're not going to get flagged. But to me, this is more effective than trying to pick this off in this year's game, unless it's wide open. Because you see how he turns hips? Now, my tendency, your tendency, last year would be to try to drag him down and do this. What I do is I complete that circle, and then I just basically try to break up the pass. So those two things combined together, I think are going to really help in terms of breaking up passes uh, over the middle of the field, over the... Over the um, 
over that sideline as well. So those are just some things to think about when it comes to your cover three defense and kind of learning how these zones work together. Um, you know, with better zone players, you get a mutt. Obviously, they're going to play a little bit better in zone, but that's just something, you know, that you have to kind of think about. But I would encourage you to try the shade outside adjustment. I think you're going to see that it does help a lot in the streaks. It does in department, and it also helps a lot in the corner route department. So to me, it's well, well worth it um, to try that adjustment out. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get more of the pressure schemes or you want to get more of the coverage that I have in the 335-odd defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that defensive guide in the description of this video. Like I said, if there's as there's patches that change the way defense plays or change the way his offense plays or change the way the blitzes that we broke down work, we will definitely be able to update that for you guys in the guide. So if there's ever something in the guide that doesn't work post-patch, we'll remove that for the guide, send you a brand new one with an updated uh, uh, updated stuff. So it's a one-time purchase of 15 bucks, super cheap. And uh, basically this defense is going to be probably the number one defense this year in terms of once people start to kind of grasp how the defense works, um, this defense is really, really effective. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my defensive ebook, it is linked down in the description. All you got to do is go down in the description, click the website link that I provided down there, and then that'll take you right to be able to get checked out and get that defensive guide in your email inbox.